Hello again, thank you for joining us. This video is an introduction to our system's mailing module. As you already know, the mailing module is an automatic tool that can help you stay in touch with clients, and there are plenty of ways to use it. Today we will show you how to set up everything involved with mailing. The mailing module can be found under Guests and Mailing. The first thing you need to do before you start organizing campaigns is set up a connection to your mailing server, right here. First, try the Automatic Setup Wizard which should connect your mailing server automatically in four steps. However, in most cases the automatic wizard cannot establish a connection, so you need to try manual settings, right here. If you are not familiar with these things, we strongly recommend you contact your email and website provider. Just send them a screenshot of this screen and ask them what to fill in. They should be able to help you very quickly. A lot of people use free email providers, like Gmail. These free emails can also be used for mailing but there are usually some limitations for how many emails you can send per hour or per day. In the description of this video, there is a link which will help you establish a connection with your Gmail account. After everything is set correctly, you can test the connection and the result should be positive. When the connection is ready, we can move on to creating campaigns and sending emails to our guests. The mailing tab contains all your campaigns. You can see old campaigns that are inactive as well as active campaigns, and also campaigns which are waiting to be sent. In this tab, you see the type of campaign, which can be one-time, according to events, periodic, or birthday. Then you have the campaign name, language version, and statistics. Campaigns can be sent as a one-time email, activated and deactivated for periodic emails, and they can also be sent according to certain events. The remaining buttons allow you to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. Duplication is useful if you don't want to waste time setting up a new campaign, and you want to use a template from a previous campaign. For example, if you have a special summer offer, you can copy a campaign from last year and only make minor adjustments, like the date. The group of people who receive the email will remain the same. We are now ready to create a new campaign, so we will show you how to create a campaign which will be sent only if a specific event happens. This type of campaign is called According to Events, and it's the most specific one. Other types of campaigns have similar settings, but according to events campaigns have extra options for more detail. I will explain this more in a few minutes, but for now let's create a new campaign using this button, and select the first option. First you need to set your internal campaign name. This name is not visible to your clients, it's just for you. In the next section, select who will be the sender, and which email address the emails will be sent from. These two things will be seen by your client. Next are the campaign parameters. This part is only available in According to Events campaigns. Let's see what options we have. We have to select which event will cause an email to be sent. We can send emails in the days before or after events that are connected with reservations. These events can include beginning, creating, ending, or canceling a reservation, or for something like the expiration of an option, like your guest missed a payment deadline. Now you decide on the type of campaign you want to send. Let's say you want your client to check in online before he arrives, so you create a campaign which will be sent zero days after creating the reservation. If you want to send extra instructions to the client and remind them of their stay, set the campaign to be sent two days before the reservation begins. If you want to thank your guest for choosing your hotel, send them an email three days after departure, thanking them and offering a discount for their next stay. You can also choose to send emails only to reservations in a certain status. If you don't select a status, emails will be sent to all reservations. If you mark one or more statuses, emails will be sent only to these reservations. Now let's move to the second tab, Recipients. You can select that your campaign will only be sent to the first guest with an email address filled in on the reservation, or you can send it to all email addresses on the reservation. Under these settings you have some other options which can help you narrow down your campaigns. You can choose to send emails by nationality, guest label, gender, guest category, number of guest reservations, or even rooms where the guest has stayed, or by the partner who booked the reservation. Each option has its own settings, so if you want to arrange a campaign by guest label, for example, you can send emails to all guest labels except the ones you select here, or to all guests who have at least one of the selected labels, among other options. Campaigns can have more than one condition for being sent, you can add more conditions using this button. If you are using more than one condition for your campaign, you have to select if the guest needs to meet all of the campaign conditions, or if the guest needs only one or more condition to receive an email. 
In the lower part of the window, you can see how many guests match your campaign criteria. This information is valid mostly for one-time campaigns, because campaigns according to events are active all the time, and emails are sent only when the selected event happens. Another example we mentioned before is online check-in. In the previous tab, we decided that we want to send an email about online check-in zero days after creating a reservation. We want to get this email to our clients immediately after they create a reservation, so in this case, we will not add any other criteria. If we use another example, like a special event which might interest our German guests, we would most likely create a one-time event and add the condition that the guest's nationality be German or Austrian. Okay, now it's time for the most important part, the email itself. You will create the email using this intuitive text editor. The first thing worth mentioning is the language. You should always fill in your own language version for domestic guests, and at least a second version in English. The language of the email is determined by the guest nationality. If the guest nationality has no language version available, they will receive an email in the English version, if that's available. The editor has two main parts, the subject and the body. Both will be seen by the recipient. The tools of the text editor are quite common, and you should be familiar with them if you've used other text editors, like Microsoft Word. You can make the text bold or italic, change the size and font of the text, select a format of the text, or insert a numbered or bulleted list. There are some other functions that can help you with your emails. First, you have templates, right here. You can find templates for things like online check-in requests. Just select the template and it will be inserted. Unfortunately, we can only have one language version of templates, so we can only provide check templates. Still, you can use the template and translate the text to the language of your choice. The second useful function is creating a link. This function is also the same as other web or text editors. Let's say we want this part of our text to be a link to our website. Just select the text and click on the link button. Now insert the web address and confirm. You can liven up your campaigns with pictures using this button. We also provide the option of adding a file as an attachment to the email, but we don't recommend using this option. It's always easier for the recipient to see the image or at least preview the image right in the text of the email. Now we have saved the best for last, which are placeholders, parts of the text which will adjust themselves in each email according to real-time information, like parameters of reservations, etc. For example, we can have this sentence. Next to your voucher number, you add a placeholder. You edit using this button here, and you select the placeholder, the guest's voucher number, from this list right here. The voucher number will be automatically adjusted according to the guest's reservation. Now let's insert another placeholder for the guest's email. The last thing you need to add is a link to the online check-in website, where the guest will use the login information you just provided. When you have your campaign ready, it's vital to use the preview function, where you send the campaign to your personal email address. This way you can see how the email looks before you send it to your guests. Our campaign is now ready, but because it is an according to events campaign, we have to activate it, like this. We have one more thing to show you before we let you go. When you have an active campaign, or just sent a one-time campaign, you have a basic overview of all campaigns here in the General tab. If you open a campaign, you can also check the last tab in Settings, which contains a list of all people who were supposed to receive the email, and can check if it was delivered successfully. Sometimes delivery can fail because the recipient's mailbox is full, or the email address does not exist, or you have reached the limit of sent emails set by your email provider. And that's it! We've reached the end of our mailing tutorial. Now you should be ready to create and send effective mailing campaigns. Thank you for joining us.